I see. Look at that. Okay, so those are our choices. So you get him no matter what. Disciple sucks. By the great winds, I Apprentice. I don't really pick any of those, to be honest. Tempest maybe as some sort of cheaper tank. I laugh in the face of danger! So, you kind of have to go all in with that, didn't you? But I don't know about that. Sentry Sprite. Sprite can be fairly tanky, but we've got heavy armor, dudes. So I'll take this. I'm on my mark. Take that. I think I may have Ready to go mass servant so. Ready to work. I think that's what I'll have to do, actually. Because unless you just straight up build for a flame beer. I may get servants after it. It's a bit slow, isn't it? Hmm. At least we had the choice. Yeah, it will be servants and then a flame beard in the middle, I think. Rinse and repeat. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Job's done. I wonder if they'll do something tricky like level one send or something. Got a nice saber. Yeah, yours roll. Your rolls are pretty scuffed, man. Out with it. Well, it's pretty scuffed. No easy mode for you. I was hoping to get something easy mode so I could start bragging and talking about how easy this game is. But at the moment, I haven't really. The only thing that'll be easy mode is if I get away with this. Yeah, low on the RNG. I was thinking I was going to get like um, privateers. I was going to be like, wow, this game's so hard. For my brothers, that's a given. It has begun. Did they send? So it's a 2v2 here because it's a very slow day today. We weren't really getting any takers. It's just going to be randoms and they're always just going to leave like after the first few levels. So it's better to have like a concentrated 2v2 or something. I'm really worried actually. I can't push any more than that. Even 3 0 might have been much too much. He's the only one I can build, because this one was kind of trash as well, wasn't it? And the only other option was like a null. <laughs> so I wasn't going to take that either. That's a given. Yes. So that's 100. Alright, I better take that. By bidding, no one shall be the wiser. Upgrade complete. I am prepared. Oh yeah. My brothers. Nice. It has begun. You may be killing my leaks here, Chichov. Although you're kind of vulnerable first, this is level as well. But I feel like extra squishy for some reason. No one shall be the wiser. I feel oh, super squishy. Brothers, it has begun. I don't That's like it. I think we're going to have a rough That's level two and level three. It will be much better on level four and five. But level two and three is going to be rough. My brothers. I bid you. What would you ask? Prepared. Okay, level three is going to be super rough now. Just got to try to get past level 2 without leaking, hopefully. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm almost guaranteeing that. You got 2 nil, so you might be okay. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. You better hope that Night Saber pulls her weight. How good she is. I've lost one trader. Alright, we've got to do a send, obviously. Let's see if I can get away with the orc. Oh. I'm actually honestly going to hurt myself a little bit here just to make sure I get the blood orc because I think that will hurt them more. It has begun. So I could add like the extra 10 income there, but I'd rather do that than just send a wyvern. And the wyvern doesn't do anywhere near as much. I'm almost tempted to even like build this next servant against the wall just to give him more chance of surviving, but it's alright. I can't anyway. Do I have to do Tempest maybe? I might even have to do like Tempest in the front, honestly. I feel like I have to do Tempest. Like, I don't have any good options, but at least that would mitigate some damage. It's not great. No matter what I do, it's bad, to be honest. But...
Yeah, there's no, 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 no way I'm clearing this level. Not a single chance. Slave Trader's doing fairly well. He almost one-shots him. If he gets a low damage roll, then he, yeah, that's pretty bad. I couldn't buy one and upgrade it, though. Looks like we both got leaks, though, so that's good. Leaks on both sides. Yeah. Let me paste the metal. Yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. So they probably got medium armor as well, then. Oh god, the Blood Orc's gonna do so much damage. I think it's better to push here than to... I don't think we lose the line. I don't think so. Where's that fur ball? Did you kill your fur ball? Oh, there he is. Looks like we both lose the line. Yeah, no way to stop that. If I had privateers, it would have been a lot easier. Although, to be fair, you could just put that gold into more slave traders. I mean, traders that don't do slaving at all, because that would be wrong. So, there's two ways to look at this. Free one's still pretty good. Why not free v free? I didn't cancel that in the end. You know what? I think at the end of this, like if I clear this, then I can get Flame Beard there. Which, ironically, I'll be building it on level 5, which isn't a good level for him, but it, you know, it will set it up a little bit for level 7 at least. That's what you think, boy. It is, but it also isn't because I want to get. Uh, I almost called him the wrong thing there. Flame beer. Yeah. Don't push anymore. Try not to die on level 7. I guess another one of these would have been like. If I could have got one of those upgraded, I would have not got the Tempest. But I, I couldn't. I was like 13 gold shy or something like that, or even 8 gold shy. Oh, Breu. That's a bit less than I was expecting. Uh, to be fair, these aren't even that bad on level 7, so you know what? We'll get him later. It is what it is. Let's go all in on these. Give me that money. They'll be good on 7 and 8. Oof. Which part? All right. Still sitting, unable to move. Info six, two hundred from that. Yes, 
lot of these are going to survive, which is good. It's going to give me a bit more income. Well, I don't know, actually. That ended quite quickly. Probably not. Alright, let's whack you in there. I've got 50 gold, eh? This guy can be building up, so one, two, and three. That Tempest looks a little out of place. Maybe if we manage to make it to level 17, miraculously somehow, he won't feel so off. I don't know whether to try to send something else sneaky here or not. Probably just save for upgrading the king or pushing. Oh, you managed to get your hermit. Nice. I didn't. They decided to upgrade their king. Okay. I didn't get sent. Unless they're going to send on a different level, but they might try to go all in on level 10. Just wait. Just wait a moment. If we get a chance to see the king, we can see whether they've upgraded or not. Or if they're saving. Yeah, I'm going to push. Because we should be good for the next level or two. Probably. Metaphorically speaking. Ooh, boy. They must have upgraded the king then, surely. Yeah, 4-6. And we've got 4-0. So yeah, they definitely upgraded the king. They got 4 on there. Okay, so we could... We don't have to up the king then. We could save the 10. So it keeps some pressure on him. And give him less chance of killing the uh, things. To get the goal. One gold extra. It's not bad. Spawns one lava tar each round up to six around the unit, which increases the life regeneration of units built above them by five health per second. It adds on, on death effect to the unit, which deals unit value capped at 28. So there's a cap anyway. Because I was going to say, like, I don't know what that really means, unit value capped at 28. Because theoretically, in the best case scenario, You'd surround this guy with, like, super mega strong units. Not that that's even reasonable whatsoever. But that's what you would do if you could. Just, uh, even the life. Five life uh, per second is pretty good, to be honest. Especially since these characters can get higher armor. So they can make more use of that life per second. And if they have more chance to live, then they've got more chance to get gold at the end of the round. Looks like the trade wins. Oh, well, level 9. Oh, I see. Yeah, well done. Very well done. Calculated. But what if they send on level 9? Because they do normal damage on level 9. We're hard counted. They kill us on level 9. They see that I'm profiteering from less than ethical means. Say the word. Yes, Chieftain. Yes. Chieftain. Need something. I am prepared for my brothers. 
<laughs> I say, I say, I say, these traitors are mighty good. Now, now you hear, here, boy. Ah, oh, you beat me to the 500 lumber achievement. Well, they didn't do a send on level 9. So I guess, what do you want to send? Do you want to send something at Mimi, or...? Uh, uh, we'll leak. I feel fairly strong. I mean, what? Uh, we've already got some damage upgrade. Ten archers. All right. Well, I see one, two, three. You have to send sentries as well, because it's going to end in a second. Just send some trash. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. I'll upgrade the king if it looks like we're going to leak. Otherwise, I'll save that lumber. What? Yes, chieftain. How much greed? 91. That's a lot, actually. Almost basically pays off, you know, for any leaks early on. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Ferb and Hermit kind of annoying, but we'll see. I don't think we need to upgrade the king. Let's see how the split goes. Well, the middle one's going to go down, but then I'm definitely going to be split between the top and the bottom. i got a pretty bad split. Looks like it went a lot better for you. Oh boy. Will I even get the middle one? That is a mega bad split. Oh, I got one. I could have got two if they all focused. I need two targets and then left one alone. So I did get pushed. I mean, I uh, got punished. I, don't know. I have enough to push at least once. So that makes up for it. And the bonus for you is you probably get at least one of those. Maybe two of them. So you get even more gold, so this is a real profiteering for you. You're going to make more money than my trade did. Although, will they survive this level? You can go like 7-7, seven, 7-8 seven, seven, with the amount of greed that you're going to get. They got 10-10, which is a lot of upgrades. We could start doing upgrades or not, since I don't know when we're next sending. I'm going to do upgrades. I'm only going to do it just so I get into something out of it, and I literally don't know when the next up, the next thing is. Oh, you got none. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's really unlucky. Hey, Shadow Huntress, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you very much there for the sub. And speaking of luck... I don't know they got zero lice left or one. Yeah, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. My brothers. Say the word. Where are we? Yes, we got the arena battle now. Need something. I got 106. Now nah, just keep pushing. Oh, they got 7 free, right? Do we want to win this though? We got more value than them, so we should do, right? Legolas is usually greedy with his income to make up for some weaker starts but we should definitely win this unless they got really overpowered units we got way more value so it just depends how trash our units are in comparison oh god they got aquianus gray main's pretty good Research complete. no wonder legolas has got a good push we got the easy mode but we can overrun them, get our 100 gold from this. And then I can push this again. One more, because why not? Max out that greed. At least I don't have to be jealous of uh, Chichov catching up with me. Or, well, you know, getting ahead of me now, because he got my Dren eyes. Because he didn't. Do I prefer Mega or Ooze LTD? Oh, Mega. I never play the Ooze one. 
problem with that and Hell Hole is it takes like six hours watching the king fight the mobs for like multiple levels. It's just weird. You may as well just go AFK and make yourself some dinner or something. And then come back. For my brothers. I am prepared. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If you're going to do it, because they've already up, so that's why they've got good income. It's better to do it now than suddenly have to do it and then, like, you know, you only get income for that one level. Extra 10 income here or there for, the, like, the next six levels are going to be extra 60 gold or whatnot. Plus, we have no idea when this is going to go to, because it's weird playing 2v2. We might even go past 17, who knows. I bid you. That's a given. So, yeah, I want to be kind of greedy. Speaking, I guess I may as well do another flame beard. Could I still get away with servants? How, how long is it until they really fall off? Actually, I should upgrade this guy right now that I've got everything done. Enlighten me for my brothers. Because if it's a 2v2, I was just wondering if the game really goes on long. If I built like another set of servants with a flame beard again. <laughs> I'll definitely do at least another flame beard. I just don't know what the extra units. Oh, yeah, I forgot I even had a druid here. I completely forgot about him. Could have done him for level 10, I suppose. But then again, I was so focused on them. He doesn't quite fit in. I can do him like next. That'll be fine. Do regen or something, yeah. Aren't you missing one for the upgrade? What, the upgrade on the Scepter? I haven't upgraded the Scepter, no. Because I don't see the necessity to do that. Maybe on level 14, because he can tank level somewhat. But he stays on there. So he doesn't really tank anyway, because he's ranged. Yeah, I'm probably better off re-rolling once I've done like this and another upgrade. In fact, if you was going to do that... The thing is, is she's one of the last to die, so is there any point putting her in here? I don't think so. I could theoretically put her like here, you know what I mean, to benefit from the next guys. Has begun. I don't know how long the game's going on for. If the game doesn't go on super long, then she could be there and blow up as well for some of her health. But Job's done. I think it's better if she just stays back anyway. A nice sort of corner position. For my brothers, that's a given. Upgrade complete. More lumber is required. More slumber is required. Out with it. It has begun. Probably could have helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will give us time to see whether they send on level 14 as well. I must be making loads of money here. See, 150 there now. Out with it. I bid you. No one shall be the wiser. Okay, it is time. Time to re-roll and see what we get. You could do that if you wanted, but Job's done. me no. Research complete. Ah, Sea Giant's really good. The rest is absolutely trash. Unfortunately, if they send on level 14, then we... I have to put something down. One Dwarf Fighter, maybe, and upgrade it. You could get a bunch of Dwarf Fighters around him as well, but I'd rather do Sea Giants overall. So at the moment, it kind of looks like I'm... Komodo's bad for this level. <laughs> That's really no good answer there. I'm just going to do that, because at least I'm putting some money in case they send. I'd rather do a sea giant and just completely skip that, but... I can't just sit on, like, 200 gold. 
Yeah, I'll upgrade the farm. You could theoretically do like seven dwarves and then you upgrade them and then they're around the guy. But I think I'd rather have sea giants benefiting from uh, the red thing. Even though, if I didn't have sea giant then I'd definitely do the dwarves. But I want some good end game units. I don't want to keep spamming out tier two units. Got enough of those now. For my brothers, that's a given. It has become Only six gold. What a ripoff. I cannot summon there. My brothers. Now we're sitting on two hundred gold, but I don't think they're gonna send. So well I think I, we can sit on two hundred gold here. Fourteen I would feel like maybe more like. This guy's not so bad once he's upgraded. Enlighten me. That's oh, are we still upgrading the king or not? I haven't done it in a while. There we go. Beep. Out with it. He snuck more income over me now. It's game over. I guess we try to send on 17, but I get the feeling it won't finish on 17. It could, but I don't get the feeling it won't. Maybe I should have built another one of those flame of fire dudes before re-rolling as well, so I got another siege unit. Although Sea Giant is always really good, even if it has magic damage upgraded. It's just such a good unit anyway. You no doing the last lumberjack? Oh my god, before level 17. <gasps> It'll pay off if the game goes long. I'm probably not going to do it. I'll take the risk and just hold if that's the case. Level 16 is going to be kind of nasty. We went 7-7, seven, seven. greedy son of a bitch. Oh, I'm going to try to get past level 17 before I push now. Otherwise I may as well have pushed earlier. For my brothers... If one of us, like, tries to hold a little bit, then that way we're somewhat buffered. Out with it. Yeah, you get one demon. It wouldn't be that bad, though. It won't be like a demon and a kraken. So, yeah, theoretically, you, you probably could get away with a push. Need to do another reroll and stick a ton of units right at the front here. So that these traders have more chance of surviving later on. So I can still keep making money because now they're getting melted. I'll probably only get like six gold or something at the end of this. Or I just get super DPS. But to be fair, the only thing I'm going to be building now is hiders. Because you just can't go too far wrong with those. Are we sending? We're not even sending, are we? I don't think we even sent, to be honest. I feel like it'd just be a waste. It has begun. I honestly feel like it'd be a waste. I am prepared. I mean, at best, you can send like a Fire Lord, maybe. They got a tactical leak here, so it might be deliberate. Like I don't see the Fire Lord pushing. Remember, they've upped their king like years ago. It's like maxed. Yeah, Legolas leaked there as well, which means he's probably pushed quite heavy. Yeah, we've got to start pushing again. Although, I'll, I'll get past this level. I don't think we're going to leak here. I'm really not worried about it. i got tons and tons and tons of values, so go to 7-8 if you want, to be honest, at this point. Job's done. <laughs> hasn't even done anything wrong. I am prepared. Yeah, I feel like just sending them a demon or something is just going to give them gold, almost. I could be completely wrong here, but I feel like, yeah. Oh, that's impressive. See, he does 
push a lot, Legolas, but he's it's good that I got this and not you. Because I've got an extra 500 failure. I got a demon and a fire lord from the same player. So they obviously, they're trying to kill us here. This might be enough to kill us though. Because I haven't really cleared it, to be fair. I got a lot of it weakened. There's no doubt about that. Got some healthy ones there. A lot of this is like half health. It's pretty, not too bad. We could well be dead, but we'll see. I think we are probably dead. That shockwave's got a ridiculously long cooldown, right? Oh yeah, we're dead. <laughs> GG. Yeah, they push more for like finishing the game, I suppose. I felt like that could have gone really long, but they obviously pushed very heavy to get as much lumber as they did there. Boom. It is what it is. That was fun, though.